Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I have another Sassy Girl Aroma haul. This is going to be my last Sassy Girl Aroma haul. I have a table right here. Knock on wood for the next month. Now, I do have two orders coming in. One is so small, it's a brittle, a bag of locks, and a perfume. And then this latest pre-order, I only purchased two perfumes. So, I didn't purchase any wax. I have now, with this stash, over 200 brittles. So, I need to work on using them and enjoying them, finding out what I love. And honestly, this pre-order was pretty easy for me to pass on. It's a lot of scents I've already had or not super, super interested in. Obviously, there's one or two that are intriguing to me, but I have plenty of Julie's Incredible Wax to tide me over, and I'm trying to hold strong to two months of pre-orders, June and July. It's hot out. I'm sure, you know, I don't want the wax to melt and, like, get smudged in the bags, so I'm going to wait. I really don't need it right now anyway, so I'm just trying to hold strong for four pre-orders to sit out on and to work through my collection. I think that's a really good goal. We'll see. But anyway, I have so much to share with you, so much to get into, lots of fun new scents for me, and some returning favorites. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, Julie gave me two samples. The first one, this is Lemons in Paradise. And I saw someone post in the Facebook group that this is like lemon magic. And it's so good. It's definitely like a zingy lemon, but it has a really nice creaminess to it. This really resembles lemon curd without that sometimes sharpness that lemon curd can have. I'm not sure if this Lemons in Paradise is a dupe for something, but it is really, really nice. I could see myself melting that. And the next one is Campfire and Marshmallows. Natalie, if you're watching this, uh. She loves her campfire marshmallow scents, and this one, this is so good. This is smoldering woods, a little bit of smoky marshmallow. This is so yummy. I love this. I cannot wait to pop this in my warmer. To me, I never understood why those scents were, like, more marketed towards fall and winter scents. You roast marshmallows in the summer. To me, that's a good catch. Those are summer scents to me. I love it. Love this fragrance and really want to pick it up. I have two loaves. One is new to me and one is one that I've had in Brittles and love. And that is Return to Oz. I love her loaves. For one, they're so huge. You get so much wax in here. And the notes are pumpkin pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam butter cookie, and zucchini bread. And this is just like, if you like blackberry jam butter cookie and pumpkin pecan waffles, this is fantastic. This smells very reminiscent of the pumpkin bread from Starbucks. You know, like that pumpkin loaf that you get, like a hybrid between cake and a, and a bread with the seeds on top. That's kind of what this reminds me of, smothered in blackberry jam. But I will say, I've had this for a couple days now, and as it's sitting, I'm getting a lot more of that salted caramel note as well. This is so pretty. This is going to be perfect in the fall time. Oh, I love this scent. Love this scent. And the next one is new to me. However, I brought something that smells kind of similar. This is, is there life after breakfast? And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, caramel, coffee, and vanilla waffle cone. Now, IHOP is pumpkin pecan waffles, caramel, coffee, maple syrup, and brown sugar. So there's slight differences. To me, I, okay, I'm smelling this, and now I'm going to smell IHOP, which I love IHOP. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I hop definitely you can smell the brown sugar. I don't get that maple syrup note though, really, when I smell I hop. I haven't um, melted it yet, so I, I can't speak to that if it changes on warm. Her stuff does. But for this one, yeah, it definitely smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. And it's funny, comparing them side to side, the vanilla waffle cone you actually really do pick up in the scent. It's like, it's like a rich, decadent, rich, warm, inviting fragrance, 
but the waffle cone, I picture going into a gourmet um, ice cream shop and smelling them making homemade waffle cones. Oh yeah, oh, fabulous. Uh, me and a couple of my friends are actually going to Cleveland this weekend, and I know that a Jenny's trip is on the horizons for us. And yeah, I know that I will be melting the, um, smelling the homemade waffle cones. All right, so let's get into brittles. I actually do have a couple that I've already had before. I just wanted some more. The first one is Rage, and this is new to me. This is Rustic Lodge, Blueberry Muffin, Toasted Marshmallow, and Whipped Cream. Some can say I put people in a rage. Like that one. Um, this is pretty... I'm not 100% sure what Rustic Lodge necessarily is, but... I do pick up on the toasted marshmallow and the blueberry muffin for sure. It's interesting. I feel like when toasted marshmallow is mixed with a lot of bakery, you don't necessarily smell it. But when I smell this, I get the blueberry muffin with the toasted marshmallow. And almost like a woodsiness. I don't know if that's what the Rustic Lodge is. I'll have to look that up. But yeah, almost like a smoky woodsiness. It's really pretty. She had a lot of really cool scents in this pre-order. Next... We have blue cookies. Now, if you watch my empties, I raved about bro code, which is blue sugar, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. This is just blue sugar and sugar cookie. I didn't even realize this whenever I ordered it. Well, I didn't melt bro code, I think, before I ordered this. Yeah, and this is very similar to bro code. Obviously, it doesn't have that richness of the toasted marshmallow. On cold, I like bro code better. I'll see what it's like melting, but it's so similar. I'm really excited to have that because Bro Code lasted two plus days in my living room. Oh, incredible. Incredible. Love that one. Another new to me scent is Around the Oak Tree. This, you guys, this scent, I will say, I'm going to pause here for a second. To everyone who ordered pumpkin creamer and the mini muffins, well, and the brittles, she offered it in mini muffins last pre-order. Because of my video, I hope you absolutely love it, and it just shows that us influencers definitely do have an impact on you guys. And I say influencer with um, with no malice. It's true. I mean, we influence. We're influencers. Um, yeah. So we influence you to buy. It's what we do here. And yeah, pumpkin creamer is incredible. Around the oak tree. That's my pumpkin creamer from this order. This is amazing. If she offers around the oak tree again, please get your hands on it. Oak barrel cider, cinnamon donuts, vanilla bean oil, and toasted marshmallow. And I know that Charity was talking about how she was kind of upset. Not upset, but she was like, I can't believe pumpkin creamer sold out. Drew, stop saying, sharing your favorites on YouTube. Because when you share them, everybody buys them. It's because they're so good, and you have to try them. This, oh, my Lanta. This is so good. Holy guacamole. This smells like you're at a fair that has apple cider. I don't necessarily say it smells like donuts, but you're getting the spices from the cinnamon donuts. You're getting the creaminess from the marshmallow and the vanilla bean noel. Combined, this is like a high-end apple cider fragrance. If you love the scent of apple cider for the fall, this scent mixed with the cinnamon donuts, I'm telling you, it is so good. It is so good. And I will, as soon as she offers this again in a pre-order, not in June or July, future pre-orders, I'm going to pop this in my warmers. And if it's just as amazing on warm, like I bet it will be, I'm definitely picking up more. Lilacs in a vase. Again, this is incredible. Everyone who's tried this feels the same. Love it. A vibrant and floral blend of fresh cut lilacs combined with refreshing morning dew in the cool spring morning air. And that is exactly it. It smells like lilacs in a vase. Like you opened a refrigerated floral shop case and there were lilacs there. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's incredible. Huckleberry Beach. Love her Beach Nights fragrances. All of her Beach Nights. Incredible. Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores, Cotton Candy, and Huckleberries. Huckleberry is such a fun scent. It's like strawberry, blackberry, raspberry, blueberry. 
And combined with Beach Nights, ah, oh, it's so decadent and rich. Oh, I love this. I have another brittle of it. This honestly would be a good perfume. My Night on the Beach, which is her Beach Nights Plain perfume, is in my next pre-order. Really excited about that one. Really, really excited. I'm just having a great day. I'm in such a good mood. Everybody is, you know, feeling good, looking good. It's summer, even though I don't like summer. It just, I'm just in such a good mood. I don't know why. Mmm. This is so yummy. Mmm. Well, if you haven't tried Beach Nights, you have to. And, like, I'm so not a beach scent person, but blended with um, the s'mores, the salty sea air, all that, incredible. This one is Weekend at Bernie's, and this is shaving cream, blueberry, and cotton candy. I need to order, this is, like, one of the only shaving cream scents I have from Sassy Girl. I think I have one more. And that's it. But I need more shaving cream from her. I love shaving cream, and this is the shaving cream oil that I absolutely adore. It's clean. It's fresh. It's just the right amount of masculine, just like a touch, but nothing crazy. Mixed with blueberry and cotton candy. Super sweet and fruity. Oh, I'd love to know how she comes up with some of her names. Like, Weekend at Bernie's? Like, what sets... Who's Bernie? And why are you spending the weekend with him with blueberries and shaving cream? I love it. Next, we have Ski Resort, and now that I'm saying that, this and Around the Oak Tree are the highlights from this order, too. Ski Resort, for one, this brittle, absolutely gorgeous. A crackling fire glows, surrounding you with notes of pine, cedar, smoky leather, and frankincense, mellowed with vanilla. How delicious does that sound? This smells like a sexy man is sitting in a leather armchair, smoking a sweet cigar. It's not like tobacco, nothing crazy, it's just like a sweet, almost, I don't want to say cherry because I don't like cherry, but I'm not familiar with tobacco or like cigars or what the flavors are or anything, but a sweet cigar sitting in a leather armchair, 100%, that's what this smells like. I got two, Continental Breakfast. Freshly baked pastries, roasted coffee, hazelnut cream, cappuccino foam, vanilla, cardamom, and sandalwood. Let's give this a go. This is so different. And I said this before. I almost thought this was going to be a, um, like a super rich bakery set, but it's not. I almost, almost leans towards perfumey or cologne-like. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's the cardamom and the sandalwood blended with it, which kind of what makes me feel like this is a dupe for a perfume. Julie, if you're watching, what is the dupe for Continental Breakfast? I could just look it up, but I know you watch these videos, so. Mmm, it's so good, though. The coffee, mmm, no. Like I said, it's definitely more heavy on the car. Cut me off. It's like a, like a warm, cardam like a cardamom and sandalwood cologne type of scent. I'm not really sure about the bakery notes. Like I said, Julie, I'll be very curious to hear your insights on this, because it's really different. Um... Yeah, and I, I do have two, so I'm excited to melt this one and see what I think. Like I said, I think I was just expecting it to be more of like a bakery scent. I don't know. We'll have a we'll have to melt it and take a look. Thank you all so much for watching my video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I post a video here on YouTube. Make it an incredible day, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! I wanted to pop on here in the end of the video and say... A shout out to all the reputable vendors in the wax community, like Sassy Girl Aroma, like Teddy Bees, Vintage Chic Scents, Destination Wax, there's so many, Zape is another one, Super Tarts, who are honest and transparent with us as customers who are spending their money and getting the wax out in a timely manner, and I just really appreciate that, and please show them your love, show them your support, and show them your business. They deserve it more than, you know, anyone else. But there are small vendors, Harper James, that I just recently ordered from. There, there's a lot. Candles from the Keeping Room, even though she is closing. There's just, there's so many incredible vendors out there in the world. And please shine light on them. 
Dessas. Dessas is a new vendor that I just recently ordered from, and her transparency and her honesty about about turnaround times and where she's at, updates, photos, everything is impeccable, and that goes such a long way for customers, and I know they really, really appreciate it, and that is all I'm going to say. So, have a great day, guys, again.